Hey guys, this is Much Ado About Putting. Um, I'm here at a Avondale American Golf and Country Club. This is the, s the site of the Platinum event for this week. And I have high winds and most of the settings are at default. This was one of the weather reports for the week. I don't know what pin set it's for, but I put it on pin set too for today's practice round. Uh, swinging like silk. Quite slow there. Okay, the way that ball bounced, it looked like maybe very firm fairways. It's whatever the fault is. I think I'll play it over to the right side of the green. I mean, if it lands anywhere over here, it's going to roll down. But if I do that, it may roll too far. I mean, it, it may just keep keep going. So maybe I'll play a little fade. Maybe three or four clicks of fade. Let's see if it can counteract that wind and just land in there kind of nicely. Oh. Come on, baby. Nope. All that fade took off too much. Today. That's all right. But you this know what? One club third. up, that might have been perfect. It's going to land short and roll up there, but hopefully not too far. Beauty. For the save. Okay, moving on to the next. So, you guys, I'm on platinum now. <coughs> I was promoted a couple of weeks ago. I took a week off. For my first week in Platinum, I decided not to play. My mom was visiting, and I hadn't seen her since summertime. And also, I was feeling a little bit burnt, burnt out. I had been playing a lot of golf. And I play a lot always, but I was playing even like more because of the too. Olympics and things like that. So I... Um, took the week off, and then last week I played my first shot on hole platinum two. round and did not make the cut. Um, it was really tough. And uh, I felt really discouraged after my first platinum week because I played the go ghost ball with some of the guys, and they were all doing the intentional red fast, and uh, I just I was like, there's no way I can compete with these guys if, if they're doing that. Um, I don't know. I was just discouraged. And then, of course, the big announcement that they've made the red fast penalizing. A little bit of a fast there. So that absolutely made my day <laughs> and <laughs> made me want to stick with it. I don't know. Um, because these guys on Platinum are amazing. I'm um, going to have a hard enough time competing with them even without the red fast players. So... Um, but maybe this levels the playing field a little bit. Maybe I can compete. We'll see. Play a little bit more here. Oh, this one could drop. Come on, baby. What a putt. Oh, fancy putter work. And cue the replay. So uh, I wanted to, to, score down to one under after that one. talk about a couple of things, but let me get this left. shot off first here. This is eight. I think this might get there. I mean, it just sort of the tee's in a little bowl there, so if I can just get it up there, it'll funnel in probably. So I'm trying to decide if I should de-lock it a little bit, but. Let's just play straight up. It's long. Come on back. Come on back. No. Ha no way. How does that not come off? I mean, I'm up here on, like, the heart of that incline or decline. Be right. 
Way too firm. I'm I am struggling with the power on my putts. I play without the haptic feedback, as some of you know, um, which I love. And this putt's tracking. Um, loving it more and more. But because I took that week off, I think I'm struggling a little bit with the power, getting that right. Um, so I'm hitting it too firm sometimes. And not from enough other times. Well done. Hmm. Try it, but I'm not sure it stays on the fairways. Using the driver off the fairway. I'll Come I'll on, baby. It. That was good. Setting up for our third shot. Five yards up, so 54 against that wind. It's got to be this. Surely that wind kills us a little bit. Maybe too much, but... Come on, back off that slope. Nice Come on. Seven foot putt here. I'm going to have to play a lot of backspin, I guess, to, to get it to come back. So far, so good. Oh, and that's your birdie. Two under for the round. Teeing it up now I think on these platinum rounds, four. I think the scores are going to be a little bit different this week because of the change in the rule uh, from the Red Fast and those guys. <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, most of them are playing, or were playing, for that intentional red fast. Um, so, <laughs> but I was going to say, I think it's going to take 10 under, you know, per round just to make the cut in platinum. So, it's going to take some amazing golf. Slight fast, hit the cart path or something. Yeah, I probably shouldn't go for that shot. Probably should lay up. Into an elevated green on this one. 102. Let's see here. 10. I think it's this with that wind. Hopefully that helps it a little bit. Get up. Okay, Not back quite, on the fairway. This is fine. Let's set our sights on that green. It's probably puttable here. Setting up but here now for our third shot. Oh, that was a beautiful that putt, nice, nice uh, swing line, and power got that perfect, go. but didn't drop. Two under par for the day after that one. So what I want to talk Six about, just up. for a minute, I want to focus on golf and try to keep this channel about about golf. Is that I'm playing on the the Olympics. Um, oh, effortlessly done, nice swing. And it's been a lot of fun. I uh, haven't played great, uh, okay. but I ha actually have played some good rounds, um, but haven't won as much as I would like. But this week was um, scramble and just playing with my partner, which was a lot of fun. Um, I think I'm going to have to de-lock this a little bit. And it depends on how firm these greens are. This could take off. But there was a comment made <laughs> against one of my uh, from one of my opponents at one point about my swing line being so straight I must be using some kind of illegal controller. Get in there, baby. Oh, nice little chip there. And I just want to say, All for right, the record, I use We're a PlayStation on. Dual Shock uh, PlayStation par. 4 controller. Came with okay, the PlayStation. It has the PlayStation logo on, on it. The only thing I've ever played with, I've actually only played PlayStation at all Beautiful swing. since like March when the pandemic happened and um, couldn't go outside, couldn't, couldn't do the things I would yards. normally do. And so my husband and I were kind of bored and decided to give it a try and we got this game. This is the only game I play. 
heading a bit right. I didn't even know there were third shot. Uh, illegal kinds of things until I started playing the Olympics and in the Discord people were talking about it, but it, I honestly had never even heard of that, and I would never do that. I have too much respect for the game, too much respect for myself. All right, here is a look at our par putt. And I don't know why anybody would ever do that. I'm sure they do. I would hope that it's a very small that percentage of people. Online. But Nicely I played. do not. And more than that, and that one, scorecard says two under par. as a woman playing this game, I feel like I'm an ambassador of the game in a way. And I just would never do anything that was even remotely suspect because I know that I need to represent this game well for the other women who play and to get more women to play. Um, and I also know that I got lucky there. Well done. Ooh, this is tough, there. tough pen location here. Go, putt coming up. It just seems like on platinum there's so many of these putts that are just, ooh, tough. Nope. Nowhere close on the power. But what sucks about it is I'm, I am really good at this game. And the reason why I'm good is because I practice my ass off on it. I play it uh, an insane amount of time. I play it daily, and I play it for hours a day. And that's why I'm good at it. That's why my swing line is straight. Great contact. And if you watch, <laughs> you know, my that circle there, you can see that it's not it's perfectly straight. And here. there are times when it's, vi you know, it's <laughs> really messed up because um, I'm human and I'm just not going to always hit it straight, but I'm, but I do work at it. And the other thing is, you know, I've been practicing for the perfect. I have never practiced for the red fasts. I just don't want to play that way again because I'm an ethical player and because I care about this game. Good stuff. Ooh, this is, uh, and I just think I just never wanted eagle. to do that and I never have done it. And so um, I've been practicing for perfects while other people have been practicing for red fasts. And so it shouldn't be a surprise that I'm getting perfects. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I've been playing for perfects and practicing for perfects for nope, hours and hours wind up short. a day for the last this however very, many months. I mean, putt, I so if I can't hit a perfect, if I can't hit a straight line, which I can't always, but if I can't do it most of the time, then I'm, you know, not very good at this game. And uh, for the amount of time I play it, I should be pretty good at it. All right. So anyway, that's my negative little I spiel think. for the day, but I don't like All right, in there the idea putt par. that anybody and would think that I would cheat. For the round. I think it says All a lot right, about that person who would say something like that because I'm beating him. I must be cheating because I'm a girl. And, um, you know, it's hard not to take that personally, but I'm going to try not to. I'm going to try to persist and just play my game and, uh, and beat up some beat up some other players out on the course, you know what I mean? So, just got to let it go and just play my game, I think. Looks going towards the rough. Fingers crossed for a nice up and down out of this. So, I am not playing bucket. well right this moment because I've focused more on my little spiel. So, let's be let's get back to golf here. This is below my feet, so it's going to take off, but I've also got a 86% lie, so I think this is probably still real good. Good job getting out of that bunker. A little work left to do, but nothing serious. Here we go. This is for birdie. Ah, didn't hit it. Knew it as soon as I let All go. Right, nice little two-foot putt. This course is a good challenge, I think. The greens are tough. Especially on these high winds. Playing 47. 
Let's just get there. It's uphill s to such a degree, I think I need to play long and just try to bring it off that back. Oh, come on, have a seat for come it back. Now. Well, yeah, that's play. the right play there, just to go to a little do, bit long. Too bad. Five feet to go. All right, let's see if I can put some birdies together. Brought things down to three under after that one. Par three on this one. Uh, okay, it's playing 147. Again, I think we got to go long and because the wind is, is against. In fact, I might need to play a little VLOF to get it up there. play enough on oh, the wind have a little too much ah nice. all right no d loss necessary 30 feet to the on cut. that one again another tough hole location did i hit it yes no. nope so it's your four foot putt looking good Awesome. That's a par. We'll take it. And that's going to leave you at three under par still. And this hole is a long par four hole. I uh, hit a little bit of a fast there. Should be fine. But yeah, I've enjoyed yeah, the Olympics works. so far. Actually, it's been and a really fun experience, the, uh, even though my partner and I have, been, have not been playing as well as we normally do play. Um, but we're getting hot again. Just in time for the team team event. I think there's a good bit left, though, um, of the Olympics. And I have been putting some of the live streams on my channel, so if you're interested in that, check it out. I'm not a... Uh, Come on, Bob. Kick right. Get up there. Nope. I'm not doing commentary on it nice because I'm really just uh, communicating with my partner and trying to focus, but maybe I should. Um, again, I just want people to know what we're thinking while we're, uh, or what I'm thinking as I'm setting up a shot. Uh, I played a beautiful shot, um, a three wood into a green on a par five and hit the, hit the pin. It was shot of the match. And I played some perfect fade there and um, so anyway, you guys might enjoy it more if I'm talking through how oh, the shots oh, and also just enjoying the other no, team's play. And seven foot so five. I can do that if you guys would prefer that. Nope. Uh, right by. Ah, my putt well, line catches me out there. Bogey. Okay, let's see how these numbers add up now. It sneaks in. Uh, it sneaks to in too under. when I'm under pressure, and high, and high pressure right situation. That one. little tail at the end of my putt. Catches me out. Looks like we're heading Sneaks to back into here. my game, even though you know, I've worked on it and it okay, setting up tried to eradicate it, but it gets so. back in at times. Hmm. Boy, these pins are just hard to get to. I don't think I can play driver here. I mean, it's playing 259. Take 30 off of that to 265. If I deal off it a little bit, maybe that is the play. I'll just do it since it's practice. I mean, obviously that this doesn't day. count. I guess you're just gonna take that driver off the Ooh. fairway and be play on your too way. much wind. You know what? When I deal off the club like that, shot. I don't need to play the wind as much. And I for forgot that. Hmm. That was quite a shot, guys. <laughs> okay, time to finish. That up. was a shot. Yep, I knew you had it in you. Great way to bounce back. Birdieing this one after bogeying the last. Great stuff. Best of luck to you on this par four. Well, I think I'll take that tee shot. Looks good. Here's our second shot on the 15th hole. All right, 155. 13 mile an hour wind. Hmm. So, I 
I guess maybe I'll just, hmm, this is tough yardage for me right here. I guess I'll lop this a little bit and see if it sits down nicely like that pen is. Not sure where this one's going to end up. Played it too far to the right, but that the green, was the right yardage, I think. This one's your third. There are no easy holes on platinum, it seems like. They just all are tough placement. That's a nice chip. Well done. You got to be really creative around okay, the greens. You're just not straightforward. Uh, I've got to play a lot of, adds up. I think, fade and draw and, and play, uh, and play what the par. course gives you. So it, it takes a lot more thinking through the courses, I think, on platinum than ball. it does on some of the tours leading up to it. Although they're all tough, don't get me wrong. <laughs> It wasn't easy to get up here, and I probably won't be up on Platinum long. Probably, five yards you know. out. We'll just see. It's tough. But that's why we play, right? We like the challenge. Uh, game would be boring if if it weren't challenging, and it is. It is very challenging. Nice work. That was some good golf. Seven feet to the cup. I might just try to play this a little firm and lock it in there. This putt's good so far. And you're finding My your swing way line again. The, <laughs> the bottom was just a little bit, a right little bit of a tail, but it was okay. Still went in. Here we go. Hole number 17, ready to go. Playing 155. A little bit of a wind in my face. You know, the green is sloping towards the hole, so I might play 151 and just be locked at a little, uh, what should I do? The wind is changing, though. Now I'm going to play 161 and maybe just loft it up a little bit. Be right. Sit. All right, nice approach on that one. Okay. Could be a birdie on the scorecard if you drop this. It's getting there. Boom, you drop that one, and that's back to back birdies. All, All right, I think that, I can string together some birdies on this course. I'm going to need to on platinum, so. So wish me luck. I'm going to play a partial here. I just don't want it to be too long. Okay. And setting up around 215 yards out. It's playing 220 with this win. This gets here easy. Maybe I think about this for a second. So this gets 200. No, that doesn't get there. So I'm going to just loft it up a little bit. Try to, try to hold it up in this wind. Heading for the green. Sit. No. Yeah, I don't know how to get it to stop there. Well, it gonna have to play a ton of loft. West, but we ended up in the rough. My to play a club short, but I'm. I don't see how that gets there, so I'm in between. also say the platinum players man their short games are good i mean they they're always leaving themselves really short really short uh, putts and anyway well that's it guys uh check out the olympics when i post them if you're interested in that it is a lot of fun um and i'll check you out next time bye